We know fully well that a to the power m multiplied by a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. So in this first problem, we're going to use this exponent law. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, so we can see here on the numerator that we have 3 to the power m plus 4 minus 6 multiplied by 3 to the m plus 1. And then on the denominator, we have 7 multiplied by 3 to the power m plus 2. So we can write 3 to the power m plus 4 as 3 to the power m plus 1 multiplied by 3 to the power 3, right? Uh, so we're going to have 3 to the power m plus 1 multiplied by 3 to the power 3, right? If we multiply those two numbers, we get 3 to the power m plus 4. Uh, that exponential law in reverse. Then minus 6 multiplied by 3 to the power m plus 1, right? Uh, everything divided. So instead of having 7 multiplied by 3 to the power m plus 2, uh, we're going to have 7 multiplied by 3 to the power m plus 1 multiplied by 3 to the power 1. If we multiply those two numbers, we shall get 3 to the power m plus 2. Uh, so we're going to take 3 to the power m plus 1 as a common factor in the numerator. So we're going to be left with uh, 3 to the power 3. Uh, 3 to the power 3 is uh, 27, right? And then minus 6 multiplied by 1, right? We have taken 3 to the power m plus 1 as a common factor. And then divided by, uh, so let's isolate 3 to the power m plus 1 on the denominator. So we're going to be left with uh, 7 multiplied by Three, right so 3 to the power m plus 1 we cancel out with 3 to the power m plus 1 so what is uh 27 minus 6 that is uh 21 right and then what is 7 multiplied by 3 that is 21 again so 21 divided by 21 that is equals to 1 so the answer for 2.1 is uh 1 let's move to the following problem so solve for x without using a calculator uh if x to the minus 3 divided by 4 is equals to 8 right so we have x to the power minus 3 divided by 4 right so instead of writing 8 we're just going to write it as 2 to the power 3 right and then uh, i'm going to use a, a little trick here let me show you so we're gonna uh, have x to the minus 3 divided by 4 to the power minus 4 divided by 3 right uh, we want to cancel out uh, the power of x so that we can just be left with x uh, but then if we do something on the left we should do it on the right right so we're gonna take 2 to the power 3 to the power minus 4 divided by 3 it's only fair so here on the left hand side 4 is gonna cancel out with 4 and then uh, minus is gonna cancel out with minus and then 3 cancels out with 3 so we just left with x and then on the right hand side 3 is going to cancel out with 3, so we're going to be left with 2 to the minus 4, right? So x is equal to uh, basically 1 divided by 2 to the power 4, right? Uh, we are allowed to do that, so x is just equal to 1 divided by 16. And that's it for 2.2.1, uh, pretty much straightforward, right? You just have to realize that uh, you can use this technique to get rid of uh, the power of x and then yeah everything becomes pretty much straightforward after that uh, let's move to the next question uh, we have 4x minus uh, 2 to the power x being equal to 2 right so instead of having 4 to the power x uh, like that let's give it a base of 2 right uh, so we can have 2 to the power 2 and then everything to the power x minus 2 to the x being equal to uh, 2 right so uh, we're gonna have 2 to the power 2x minus 2x uh, let's take 2 to the left hand side minus 2 is equals to 0 right so here we're going to factorize you can actually factorize as it is right but then it's a bit complicated at least for me right so I like uh, letting uh, k be equals to 2 to the x uh, if you do that then you're gonna get uh, k squared minus uh, k minus 2 being equals to 0 right so now we just are factorizing uh, in attempt to find k right so we're gonna have k and then on the other bracket we also have 
uh, key and then everything is equals to zero so the question we have to ask ourselves uh, which two numbers do we multiply and get uh, minus two but then when we add we get minus one the coefficient of k right uh, that is uh, minus two and plus one right so if we go ahead and solve for k we're gonna get uh, k is equals to two or k is equals to minus one but then what is k we know that k is 2x right so we have 2x being equals to 2 so what value of x should we have there we shall have x being equals to 1 right 2 to the power 1 uh, is equals to 2 and then on the other hand we have 2 to the power x uh, being equals to minus 1 right we know that that can never happen uh, so this solution here doesn't hold we have to cancel it out right uh, to show that we are fully aware of that uh, the next problem we have um, if x is equals to 3 minus square root of a divided by square root of 2 and y is equals to 4 plus square root of a divided by square root of 2 determine the value of x plus y squared right uh, so we're looking for x plus y squared but what is x we know fully well that x is 3 minus uh, square root of a divided by square root of uh, 2 right and then plus 4 square root of a right so we have 4 uh, plus square root of a everything divided by square root of 2 and then squared right x plus y squared uh, so you will realize very quick that we have uh, square root of 2 and square root of 2 as the denominators of the two numbers right so we can just keep one denominator and add the numerators right we are allowed to do that uh, so if we go ahead and do that we're gonna have a uh, square root of 2 and then on the numerator we have 3 minus square root of a right 3 minus square root of a plus uh, 4 plus square root of a right and then everything squared so 3 plus 4 that is going to be 7 right so we're gonna have uh, 7 and then minus square root of a plus square root of a that falls apart so we're just going to have 0 there and then everything divided by square root of 2 and then we're squaring everything so what is 7 squared we know fully well that 7 squared is uh, 49 and then what is square root of 2 squared that is 2